People, the end is here. The end is here for our current generation of consoles, video games, and hardware. Most likely, half of the people will be saying bye to their Xbox 360s and to their PlayStation 3. And... We, I guess? I don't know, Wii U? Something? I don't know. But within three days, Microsoft will reveal their new thing that will evolve into the new generation, which is the... I think... With these consoles coming out, I think that's gonna be the 8th generation. Yeah, 8th generation of consoles, because I think Xbox, Wii, and PlayStation were, uh, 7th. But, it has been a crazy, mm, let's say about a good 8 years since 2005 when the first Xbox got released, and that th it was just all a mess because of that year, with the Xbox being rushed out a year early, then PS3, or more like Sony, was waiting for at least one year, so that at least that way, their console could at least come out nicely. Of course, you know, both of each had its own, uh, I think the PlayStation 3 had the, the little yellow light problem, which was pretty much similar to the Red Ring of Death to the Xbox, but trust me, Red Ring of Death... Everywhere. Just everywhere. And of course, you know, Microsoft fixed that up and stuff, and you know, and everybody's enjoying their stuff, and of course there's all these new consoles, or new versions of them more like it, because, you know, the Xbox had the little new Black Slim looking one. PlayStation 3 also had their own slim, so pretty much a lot of shit has been happening. Uh, we got a lot of bullshit going on <laughs> that I can't really think about. That there were probably games that we thought that we were gonna release this current generation. There were games that did release in this generation, which turned out just to be, yeah, I guess, plain shit because you know they were just like <laughs> terrible. And then we had problems. There was hidden DLC problems. Uh, it's freaking. Game just gone bad just because of freaking connections and stuff like that. People's complaining that video games aren't as good anymore, that developers are just getting greedy now. And then, you know, the list just goes on and on and on and on and on. And there's problems. Oh my gosh, and the majority of PlayStation players were affected because of the whole shutting down of the PlayStation server because of the whole hacking situation, which pretty much was just another crazy thing that just happened within this current console generation. And, you know, it's been kind of a crazy current... No, I said that wrong. It's pretty much been a crazy, uh, let's say, how can I say, console generation because of all the stuff that's been pretty much happening and, you know, with all this bullshit that's just going around. And, you know, I'm pretty much just going to ask myself, how's this current, how's the new console generation going to look? Because, you know, of course, everybody was full scared of the whole, oh, that you got to be online to play your games. No online? Well, then, you know, too bad for you. You, you get to stay out there. You know what? There's a door. Go outside. And, of course, I think that was the most big thing that people were scared of was because, you know, not everybody's got internet and there's just some people who just don't even bother just to play online. You know, they just simply just like to buy their games and just play them. And, you know, props to them. I have no problem with that, and, you know. I don't mind at least jumping back into multiplayer games or just going back into single player games that are just only single player only. I don't mind it. But it's just that, like, of course a lot of people were worried about that. And that many ideas, many people were getting ideas that Microsoft was going to do it with theirs because PlayStation 3 already pretty much flat out said, uh, oh no, we don't want to piss off our customers. We don't want to force that on them. You know, we want them to have the very, very great experience. Uh, Microsoft hasn't really said anything. And of course, I'm pretty sure that's why everybody's been bitching at them saying that, oh, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to do it. So I know it because you guys are Microsoft. You guys are dicks. But mm, you never know. Three days from now. Sucks that it's gonna be in the morning. I wish the shit was gonna be like during the freaking like afternoon the announcement, but I guess they just want to throw it out there right away. It's great. Just probably just try to go on a computer on the school and just probably just look it out. But anyways, what can we really expect? Because everybody thinks that if no online is probably gonna be not happening because trust me, it shouldn't happen because Microsoft should know. Microsoft should know. They already fired a guy over it because he said that he was okay with it and that he caused a little stir and Microsoft fired him. So at least that way, you know, shits nicely. But, you know, what's the worst thing that we could expect? Because, you know, a lot of crazy things are starting to happen between developers and those, uh, whatever the hell Microsoft Sony's are. You pretty much call them publishers, I guess. Or whatever the hell you want to call them, you know, with, with all this stuff with the hidden DLC problem that Capcom started. This whole uh, Metro last night, that's a whole DLC that's to get a difficulty mode, you either had to pre-order it or on day one when the game came out that you were supposed to buy it for 
Which, it, it, I don't know, just it's just some crazy stuff just going on. I, don't, I just don't know, dude. I'm just saying, what's the worst thing that can happen right now? Because, oh, you said I also saw a video too that's saying that EA has dumped their online passes. You know, those little slips of papers that you get inside the new, new game? And once you put it in, your game does not work for anybody else? Yeah, that happened to me. You know, with Battlefield 3, uh, I think only Battlefield 3 was the only game I could think about. It's just what sucked about it was that we bought a new console. So we did it on the old one, and my brother was the one who put the code on his account. So I'm fucked when I pretty much get a copy of Battlefield 3. So that means I'm probably gonna have to buy a copy myself to probably just, you know, play online because, you know, Battlefield 3 ain't no bad game. You know, me likey, me gusta. But, ah. You know, they discontinue that. And many people were starting to say, oh, you know what, that's starting to look like a good thing. But wait! If that means they're getting rid of that because of the current, you know, for the new consoles, uh, what happens if they do something worse for the next gen? I don't know, it's just gonna be like something, but ugh, let's just hope this new console generation just becomes good at least. If not, video game crash market, please! You know, like the 83 crash? I don't know if anybody knows that, but eh, yeah. Let's just hope that something good just happens. Let's just hope. And alright, my name is JC Tuss, and I'm round to see you guys.